Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another beautiful episode of Word to the People, man, y'all. Check it out, y'all, brothers and sisters. Thank you, thank you, man, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah. brothers and sisters. Okay, otherwise, y'all, yeah, today, guys, I simply want to say something before I could even continue with this episode, bro. Uh, but, eh. Uh, basically what I was trying to say guys I'm saying yeah guys basically yeah I know many as many black people out there, many melanated people out there, they sort of lost the confidence and they do not feel like we can sort of like uh, defeat our enemies. Because right now, economically, we are suffering, so we sort of need to get our land. So I just want to say, yeah, guys, don't worry, we will. <coughs> we just have to use our brains. We have to stop being ignorant. Guys, we need to make sure that we research about our history. We need to know about ourselves, who we are. We need to know also even your family history. Like We need to know our place as black people, as the melanated people in history, uh, in the present time. You see, we also need to learn about ourselves, even ourselves, even the self, is in the mind, the spirit, and even like... The thing is, uh, even our biological genetic engineering. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue now. Okay. Right now, basically, what we're going to be doing. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about. Uh, South, okay, basically, today's topic is that yeah, South Africa has never been liberated that's today's topic okay because the thing is man i realize like every time i like i go around many people have been saying yeah here in south africa we've been we are free we have freedom nah man we don't have freedom then they come and call us born freeze because we were born after the so-called uh, freedom man okay what is freedom like really like what is freedom okay and we are free from what that that's the question that we should be asking first of all guys like really what are we free from hmm? what are we free from if we're gonna say we are free from what because the whole concept of saying we are free is because yeah we were colonized you see we still continue to be colonized okay so now the thing is we should ask free from what because now when you say you have freedom we are free free from what are we still free from being landless are we still do we still have the land now we don't are we economically free now we don't so can we say we are economically free no we can't so guys please right okay um uh, it is what it is guys it is what it is Okay, guys, I have an audience here. Can you? So now I just like hearing this audience of mine cheering for me. I'm gonna make it cheer for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, key. Okay. Right, okay. Let me do something here. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, today's topic, as I said, today's topic is, yeah, South Africa has never been liberated. So the question is, what is liberation? That's the first question that people should be asked, should be asking. What is liberation? Like, really, what is liberation? Hmm? Okay, liberation basically means when one is sort of like economically, 
has been Ukrainian politically liberated, you see. Uh, uh, liberation means one is independent. When you're independent, that means you sort of like, you run your own state. So now it goes back to what is a state. Okay, when you say you have a state, a state, it's all about a state exists whereby you have space, space, you have the land, you see. That's where you build your state. So now, within a state, so that means there can never be um, a state before the land, basically, you see. So now, can we ask, so we go back, are we black people, can you see, say we black people have a state? No, man, we don't have a state, we don't have the land. Where we are staying, man, it's concentration camps. Yeah, man, where, where we stay, it's not different, it's not far from concentration camps yeah people from around the world can you please come and look at south africa go check Suwetu townships go check alexandra people go check alexandra and you will see what is what i mean when i say here in south africa we are still living in those german like concentration camps and they call them townships man if ever you would come and see the locate the, the, the conditions that the people are, are living in, oh man, you would cry, man. You would cry, man. Basically, the thing is, yeah, basically, yeah, people don't have proper houses. They live in shacks. Shacks. Houses made out of sink, man. Metal sink. You see? And some of those houses are not even proper conditions. So, guys, please, man, yeah. Okay. So, now... That's what I'm saying, yeah. Can we say that, yeah, we have liberation, we have been liberated, we are independent as a people, first of all, here in South Africa, when we're still living in such conditions. No, we can't. We can't say we are liberated when we're still living in concentration camps. South African townships are concentration camps, literally. No cap about this, man. No, I'm not lying. Go check, go redo your research. If you ever you check Alexandra Townships, Township, Alexandra Township, go search it on the internet and you will see, man, yeah, this is a concentration camp. Go check Hitler's concentration camps. Go check the conditions and the, even the houses that the people were staying in. Here, although people are not, but people are dying even still there. That's the other thing, man. People are dying in the townships, killing each other. People dying from drugs and nyope. People dying from AIDS, which was engineered by what? You know, man, it was engineered here in South Africa by the apartheid government. Okay, okay, now, we're not there. Let's go, let me continue now. Okay, we said we don't have a state, no? so that's why we don't have the land. So now, so a state has the land, and with, if ever you have this land also, a state has security. You gotta have your own military, you see? You gotta have your own um, universities. We know South African universities, come on man, you, they are colonial universities, even the military. We know the South African military gets deployed to come and kick people's butts. Excuse my language. Excuse my language, guys. Excuse my language. <laughs> yeah guys excuse my language guys okay yeah man you know man the military has been going there to go brutalize the people you see the military has been brutalizing the people so now can we say yeah the military we got security no even the police we know when you call the police it takes time for you to get the police and most of the times when you get there, man, you find out. Yeah, oh, there's actually a policeman chilling there, actually. You see, the police are there, but when you, when you, when you call, they say, yeah, there are no uh, poli uh, police vans and stuff. These people are not here to protect us. No cap about it, yeah. I'm not lying. This is the truth, guys. Oh, God. That's why... My feet are fella. Oh, the only time when I highly protest, whenever they are protest, we know the police are quick to react. But why is it that now, whenever we call them, the police, South African police here, yeah, they're not quick to, to, to respond? Why? That's because, man, these people, man, they are not here to protect us, man. 
You see, they're here to protect white people and their property. You see, their so called property that they took from us, the black people, the melanated people, because we know we are the indigenous people of this land. Come on, man. Yeah, okay, guys, take a toilet pill here. Okay, take a toilet pill, guys. Okay, by the way, guys, if you don't know, guys, I've got like uh, my own studio audience here. Yeah? yeah, yeah, I got my own studio audience. Yeah, man, the audi audience. When I say audience, I, mean, I actually mean audio ends. Is it like, yeah, you see. <laughs> Yeah, so all the cheering and stuff, this is my crowd, my crowd, my audio ends is coming from here, man. Check it out. Okay, um, uh, let me continue, guys. Um, so I told you, okay, we, we don't, uh, you don't have a state. Why? Because you don't have security. Why? Because you don't have the land, you see. The other thing is the state should also have production. We're not producing our own things here, we know man, we're not producing textiles, not producing our own food. And we all know, okay, not we, not everyone knows. It, basically South African South Africa is basically being fed by eight thousand farmers. You see? So now and these farmers are all white farmers. Most of them, majority, in fact about ninety nine percent 99.9 percent .9 of this thing man of these people are uh, of the people who are contributing to the production of the food of the country because you know although we got black people who are doing farming there you know they don't own large farm uh large scales of land like um uh, these white corporations and stuff okay this big this big large white corporations okay okay Okay, guys, um, let me continue now. Let me hold my breath. <sighs> all right, 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 all when we say you're liberated, I said you should have the land, you should have the state, and the state has security and production. We're not producing our own things, food from clothes. Even these clothes that I'm wearing, man, we don't know. We're coming from, we're buying them from China, we're buying them from white shops, we're buying them from like most of the time, like, yeah, we know all these brands, it's like colonial brands and stuff. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, apart from that, what happens is that yeah, we should have also produce our own knowledge in terms of universities. South African in South Africa here, man, we do not own universities. You see, guys, like even the knowledge in between universities, like you got Fort Hare University. It was built by John Hare, who was a British colonizer who came and killed some one cause king. Okay, I I might not know the name, but if ever guys you wanna know the name, just uh, just comment and I will hit you, I will let you know guys, okay. Uh, apart from that also, apart from the knowledge, you see, like even the curriculum, yeah. Okay, come back to knowledge, the curriculum, even the school system, we all know like the knowledge that they teach us, it's not even that relevant to us guys, it's not that relevant, you see. Why? Because the thing is, the, the education system, like, the, the thing is, the, the curriculum sort of teaches you colonial European history and less teaches us less uh, about our history, our achievements. For example, as a child, you start to learn about all these places across the world. By the time you get to uh, grade 12, that's when you get to learn about the history of South Africa. How funny is it? It's like the political history, even the mostly the apartheid.